What's up guys, my name is Thierry and in today's video we're gonna look over how to scream like CJ McMahon from Thy Art Is Murder. Alright, so first of all, this is not a screaming tutorial. What I mean by that, it's an advanced tutorial for people who already know how to scream and want to learn what other screamers in the metal scene are doing. So if you want to learn false hold screaming or fry screaming, I, I suggest you to go in over uh, some tutorials on YouTube that teaches you how to do that. And when you're comfortable with your technique, you can come back here and just learn from this, okay? So first of all, what is he doing? Well, he's, what I think he does is um, false folds, okay? I can tell that from his uh, high screams and uh, his lows. I know there is confusion whether he's using fry or false folds for his mids because his distortion is very clean, okay? It's not throaty like uh, black metal screamers. He worked a lot on his distortion and how it sounds. Uh, but I still think he uses false fold screaming. So let's start with a mid scream. So your normal mid with B. Okay. So that's just our normal mid. It doesn't sound like him. Well, of course. Uh, but we're we're gonna work on that. Okay. So first of all, what you want to do is uh, you want to use a narrow mouth shape. Uh, it's gonna be oval and it's gonna make your scream more uh, sound more lower it's gonna add texture to it and uh, that's what he does you can see that in his live videos uh, and his live shows everything okay so you're gonna go from there so okay it makes it lower and then if you want to go for lows you can always bring your mouth lower so like this and uh, it's gonna make your scream lower but let's focus on the mid scream right now so from there you want to over project that's gonna be the hard part for the scream uh, he projects a lot his scream is very very loud and you want you also want to make your scream more airy so what i mean by that is um you'll hear the air go through to explain this let's say you were singing so you have this note oh well if you want to make it airy it's gonna sound like oh. you can you can hear the difference so there's air that goes with the note well it's the same concept for the scream so you're gonna have your Scream, over project, add air to it. That's what he uses, okay? And from there, uh, I'm gonna warn you, it's, um, it's dangerous because when you over project, there is chances that you're gonna hurt yourself. So be careful with this, have water with you. If it hurts, stop, okay? From there, you can experiment. It's hard when you over project to uh, pronounce words correctly. You can really hear that in his live shows that he, you know, he kind of lacks in pronunciation. It's okay, you can always try to uh, pronounce correctly with this scream. It's possible, it's very hard. Do not try to sound like him. This is not a sound like tutorial. Um, because you're always gonna sound like yourself. You're not his twin. You're not. You do not ha have the exact mouth shape or uh, resonance uh, cavities and stuff. You don't have that. It's you're not exactly like him. So you're gonna sound like yourself. It's your scream, but you're gonna use his technique, and with that, you can add that to your songs, and you know just have more uh, style to your repertoire. Okay, so. Well, if you guys like this uh, tutorial, you can tell me. Don't be shy. Stay metal. Keep making good music and uh, have fun with this. All right. See you guys.